everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a what you melt in type of video. This basically just shows what I have been melting in the wax world um, in my warmers. Um, so yeah, I just kind of collected like a bunch of the wrappers that um, I'm going to show you guys and kind of, um, you know, describe the scent to you, how long it threw, uh, the scent in the room, and whatnot. So, let's get started. I thought I would do one of these videos before I got completely bombarded with wrappers and stuff, because that's kind of what happened last time, and it got overwhelming, and I had to just start fresh again. So, let's jump into it. Um, my daughter came home from work one day and I told her, you know, if you could pick any scent you wanted to melt, let me know and I will melt it right now for you. And she chose blueberry and I don't know if you guys saw my post on Facebook, but for the whole fall and um, so much or so far uh, this winter, I have been really turned off by any blueberry scent whatsoever. So when she said blueberry... I kind of flipped out. So <clears throat> the two that I chose, one was from Hearts and Tarts. Uh, these were blueberry glazed donuts and there were six of them in here. And then the other one that I chose was just one grubby tart from Front Porch. And this was, oh, this was actually a blackberry marshmallow, but I combined this, I put this in one of the warmers in the same room as I did these six donuts. Yes, I did six mini donuts all at the same time. Um, I used to be one of these people when I burned, I would, you know, only stick one little tart in a big warmer and, you know, hope and pray to the baby Jesus up above that I would be able to smell it. Now, I feel like my nose is kind of so used to a whole bunch of scents that I, and I have so much wax that I really, like, don't care that I put a lot in. I would rather get a really good scent uh, throw than I would, you know, putting one in and trying to save every last drop of wax um, to make it last longer. It just doesn't make sense to me. So anyway, these blueberry glazed donuts, these smelled really, really good. Now, this was on a pour date of 5, 10, 13. So this was back from May 10th, and these were really, really strong. Um, they smelled more like a blueberry bakery note, not like a blueberry muffin, uh, possibly kind of like a blueberry bagel. But anyway, these lasted all day. And then this one was just the uh, blackberry marshmallow. I had this on its own, but also in the same room. And to be perfectly honest, it smells kind of like a blueberry grape kind of scent to me. Um, but I really couldn't tell you, like, how can I explain this? I really couldn't tell you how this one performed because it was kind of mixed with these. But I could definitely smell that there was something else going on in the room. So these both all together lasted all day long. The Centro was amazing. I highly suggest you guys going. I'm sure everybody knows about Front Porch at this point. If not, awesome company beautiful and then there's hearts and tarts she's on etsy um and she has awesome bakery scents as well so um this is also from hearts and tarts and this was a hot fudge brownie and this was just a scent shot and then i paired it up with uh, actual hot fudge brownie from hearts and tarts now this brownie actually looked like a real brownie she has an unbelievable talent to um or she used to anyway i'm not real sure if she does this anymore because like i said this was from like 5 15 of uh, 2013, but she has a remarkable way of making wax that looks like real food. If you go on my Instagram and scroll way, way back to last May, you will see cake slices that look literally like you could eat them. It's not food, it's wax. I don't eat my wax, just just saying out there. Sean, you know, you know. But anyway, um, we just have like an inside joke going on. But anyway, um, the hot fudge brownie with the hot fudge brownie tart melt combined. Basically, it's the same scent. Um, it really had more so of a real milk 
chocolate scent. I was kind of like when I smelled it, I was kind of expecting maybe a hot chocolate, maybe like a brownie type bakery note to it, but no, it was just straight up chocolate. These two together were a little on the lighter side. Um, I would say it lasted a half a day, not a full day, and really not that big of, you know, a scent throw, meaning it was more on the medium to light side. Um, usually what I love is the stronger the better for me. Like I want to walk into that room and I want to I want to be blown away. Um, this really wasn't, I would not repurchase probably these again. Um, oh, let's see. Then let's go to the Scented Princess. I finished two bags from a loaf uh, from the Scented Princess. One was Fluffy Pink Candy Grape and... Or, okay, there were three cents, three cents combined in this. One was fluffy pink candy, the next was grape, and the next was oh my god cake. And this was amazing. You got that pink, um, kind of pink candied type scent. Oh my god. This I would buy in bulk. Like, I would buy like probably three pies and three loaves in this because it was so good. Then you got the grape mixed in with the cake. It was just a beautiful, sugary, berry, grapey type scent through excellent. I had this in all three warmers in my living room. Plus, I put this in my bedroom on the same day during the day, and this was amazing. Definitely would repurchase that again. And then also here is the second bag. This was cherry, cotton candy, and coconut. Now, you really have to be a coconut lover for this, but what I smelled the most was the cherry and the coconut. And then you got that after scent of the... Um, cotton candy, which I love cotton candy. That's like one of my favorite scents of all times, but it was so good and so, so sweet, like a really, really sweet scent, but very, very strong. This is one of those scents. Actually, these two scents really were like, okay, I walk into the room and bam, I'm hit with it. I can smell it. I can pretty much detect what it is and I love it. So the, this would definitely be a bulk repurchase again. Um, now let's get into the bathing garden. I have four um, clamshells from them. One is Sugar Candied Wreath. And this one was really good. Um, I just kind of wrote down some notes. Sugared Candy Wreath to me it was like a sugared candied apple mixed with pine. It was a two-toned, I remember. I believe it was pink and green, and it threw like a charm. I had this in my bedroom. I used only one cube at a time. That's all I needed, and it lit up the whole room. Really love it again. I would save this one for the holidays because it is really piney, and um, I'm a seasonal burner, so I would definitely buy this, though, again next winter. And then I also have uh, Jack Frost, and this is also from the Bathing Garden. And this was just basically straight up peppermint, and then it was kind of like a creamy vanilla type scent added to it. Kind of frosty, hence the name Jack Frost, but really, really nice peppermint scent. This also, I only needed one cube in my warmer, lit up the whole entire uh, bedroom and my bedroom is pretty big it's like a big master bedroom so it it did really really well um this again is kind of a quote unquote christmas winter type scent so i wouldn't order this again until next winter but it really was a good one and then i have this is a really old one this one is called blue raspberry watermelon taffy and this is also from the bathing garden and it's supposed to be sweet blue raspberries with hence watermelon taffy this was a two-toned i believe i got this in a d stash or a round robin like ages ago a long time ago and when i used the rest of it in my room i just couldn't smell anything um on cold sniff, you get the blueberry mixed with the watermelon, and it's a good scent, um, but to me, it's just not like, 
extremely appealing that I would purchase it again. This would be really good in a sugar scrub though. Um, but yeah, I think because it was so old, I just couldn't smell anything, but it would be a good scent, uh, like I said, for a sugar scrub. And then the last uh, bathing garden scent that I have is Violet Cottage. And this one is Violet, Jasmine, and Vanilla. This scent right here is my new favorite from the bathing garden. Um, it says that it is a lush bubble bar dupe and it is the lush bathos. So I don't know what that means. I found that on the description, but this is so beautiful, feminine, floral, with a tinge of spice in there. But you only smell the spice on cold sniff. Really, when I put it in my warmer and I only needed one cubic on this stuff was hella strong, like really strong. Um, when I put it in my warmer, you really didn't get that spicy note. You only get the spicy note in the cold sniff. But oh my gosh, it smelled amazing. And then I just have one more. This is a bag from um, Candles from the Keeping Room. And this is Berry Spun Sugar. And this comes with four uh, wax little like cookies. They were like light pink cookies with uh, rainbow sparkles on them. They were so pretty. This one to me was awesome. I love it. Um, anything from Candles from the Keeping Room to me is super, super strong. Um, she is one of those staple kind of vendors. Like if you don't know who to order from, if you're just starting out, um, I would order from Candles from the Keeping Room, honestly, because it's like a no brainer to me. Um, the only problem is, is that when she opens up her store, her store is like a mad rush and it's crazy because everybody wants it. But anyway, this one was the Berry Spun Sugar and to me it smelled like pink sugar, cotton candy, and berries, whether it be, it was like a berry blend, like raspberries, strawberries, some peaches. That's my dog's toy, sorry about that. But anyway, um... Smelled really, really good, lasted all day long, which is really important. Carol's, Carol is the owner of Candace from The Keeping Room. Her scents usually last all day long. Um, no need to change, you know, to a nighttime melt or whatever. Um, and I just love this one. It was super strong, lasted all day, and a beautiful scent. Use this in my living room uh, slash kitchen area, and it was gorgeous, and I really, really liked it a lot. So, that is it. That is all I melted basically for maybe like a week and a half, I think. But um, yeah, comment down below and let me know if you guys have any of these scents and if you do, what you like about them or if you're going to try to order um, from any of these vendors and what you're going to order. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe down below and have a great day. Bye guys.